Good morning, Sailor Senshi. Welcome to Sailor Senshi News Network for May 27th, 2021. I hope you've got your coffee because we have a ton of news to get through for today. First off, I did want to mention I currently have a giveaway going on. It's on my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram channel. So you have two chances to win this giveaway. I just did a review of the ColourPop makeup, which came out last year, and I just happened to buy extra sets of the ColourPop makeup. So I am giving away one set over on Instagram as well as one set on YouTube. So check out either of those platforms to find out how you can enter and good luck. Good luck to each and every one of you. This is going to end on Monday, so you still have several days to enter. Next up, we do have some entertainment news, and I feel like we're going to see more entertainment news as the week goes by because the movie is releasing on June 3rd. So first off, we have a new video that you can check out from Netflix Anime over on YouTube. It's a very cute, very short interview with four of the North American voice actors, including Stephanie Shea, who plays Usagi, and they're basically talking about their dreams as voice actors, their dreams in their lives, and it goes along with the same theme as the movie, which if you've read the manga or even if you've seen the classic anime, you would know that because it's based on supers. So if you want to check out the video that they posted, this little interview, I'll put it down in the show notes, and then it is called Beautiful Dreams Part 1, Pretty Guardian, Sailor Moon Eternal, the movie, Netflix anime. If you do have Netflix and you are planning to watch the movie, you can now set a reminder. So Netflix does allow you to set reminders for notifications whenever new movies or new TV shows are coming out that you're interested in, and that will allow their algorithm to pop up the movie for you in a much more like forward-facing spot on your profile. I think all of us know that Netflix can get a little convoluted whenever you have a whole bunch of stuff in your wish list. So I like that they have these reminders. All you have to do is search for Sailor Moon Eternal and choose Reminder through the menu. Sailor Moon Official also announced a brand new cotton mask that will be available in September of 2021. Now you may be thinking, why are they coming out with a new cotton mask even though everybody's getting vaccinated? I do have a friend in Tokyo who has been updating about the current events that are happening out there. And while we have been receiving the vaccine, pretty quickly out here in the United States. The same cannot be said for Japan. Also, wearing cotton masks is extremely popular in the winter months in Asian countries. In fact, when I went there back in November a couple of years ago, everybody was wearing them and it helps keep them from getting the common cold or the flu. So you oftentimes see people in Asian countries, including Japan, wearing cotton masks whenever they are out in public. So I have a previous version of these cotton masks from the Sailor Moon store that I had purchased purchased while I was out there and they were fairly comfortable. I wore them when we had forest fires in California. They were great. They featured the cats on the front. However, these ones feature the Ginzuisho as well as Sailor Moon's eternal brooch on the front. These will be 638 yen and they will come in a pack of four 165 millimeter wide non-woven masks. Now, if you saw one of my previous news videos, I had mentioned that there is a short version of a music video available on the official Sailor Moon YouTube channel. Well, it turns out they decided to also make available the full version for 24 hours only. So according to the post on Sailor Moon Official, they're also doing a Twitter campaign during the time of making this video available. And for anybody who tweets their impressions of Moon Effect, which is the name of the music video, with the hashtag Moon Speaking of Sailor Moon, I'm sure that translation is very awkward with Google Translate, 10 people will be randomly chosen and given a poster from the Moon movie by lottery. I would love to have a poster of the movie, especially that I could hang up in my Sailor Moon collection room. I'm looking around right now in my collection room and there is plenty of blank wall space so I could totally use some more posters. So I think I'll try to tweet them in Japanese but I'm sure it's not going to end well. My translations are not very good. Okay, on to some merch news. So first off, we have Kino Makoto as a cute posket in her schoolgirl uniform, and she is available in both the regular color 
and the pastel version. So we have already seen several of these schoolgirl uniform cue poskets for some of the other characters. So this one is also being added to the line. If you want to grab one of her, she will be available in Crane Games in October of 2021. But cue poskets are very, very often really easy to find. You can generally find them for pretty inexpensive prices here in the United States. I usually see them around $25 to $30 depending on the one that I am purchasing. But I don't really collect these, so I'll most likely skip this one. So we also have a special collaboration between Sailor Moon Eternal and Dazlin that was just announced. So who the heck is Dazlin? Well, this is a Japanese fashion company. Uh, they create a whole bunch of women's fashion. I checked out their website a little bit and the prices are kind of expensive, like what you would see in the mall. For example, I saw a dress for about $90. I saw a bucket hat for like 40 bucks. So definitely on the pricier side. Although I have to say their fashion is really adorable. So I am curious what they are going to come up with for this Sailor Moon collaboration. And I hope it's really cute. And and I also hope that they have extended sizes because your girl cannot wear Japanese sizes. The next merch item was previously announced, but we now have more information about her. This is the theatrical version, Dream Magical Mecha Deca Plush Tissue Case Luna. And her fabric design is in the Starry Planet design. So the Sailor Moon official website says the pre-magical series tissue case comes with the pattern of planets printed on the entire body of Luna, and it is finally here. It'll be available on Tuesday, June 8th, 2021. It is going to be available in Crane Games again, so unless you are in Tokyo or unless you use like Toreba or one of the aftermarket Crane Game operators online, then you will likely have to purchase this through a reseller. Hey, by the way, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Because I do a bunch of giveaways. I do a whole bunch of reviews and tutorials of how you can buy Sailor Moon merchandise. And I try to do my reviews as in-depth as possible. I'm very picky about what items I choose to add to my collection. However, I do try to choose items that I think y'all would appreciate me doing videos on. And I do appreciate your input as well well in the comments. So if there is anything that you want me to review or if you ever just want to check out something new or if you have a question about how to purchase something, definitely subscribe because I'm more than happy to answer those questions. All right, so moving on to American merchandise that was released. Hot Topic has been going nuts lately. They had just been releasing things every single day pretty much. At least that's what it feels like. So I'm catching up right now. So first we have this really cute ribbed tank top. This is a girl's ribbed tank top and again it does have the tie-dye going on. Hopefully that trend disappears very soon because I'm sick of tie-dye. The sizes range from extra small all the way up to 3x. It is available online and it looks like the MSRP is about $30.90. However, on day of recording, it was 20% off. It is listed in junior sizes and it does look slightly short, so keep that in mind when you are purchasing. There's also a really cute pillowcase set of Luna and Artemis. Now the sizing on this is 20 inches by 26 inches and it is 100% polyester. Those are 1990 MSRP. I think everybody is going to freak out about this one. This is a Sailor Moon Chibi Usagi casual magnet. I'm actually surprised that it's still in stock because it's been there for a couple of days. This costs $5.90 MSRP and this design is actually very similar to some previous designs that were based on the actual sailor uniforms for the sailor senshi. So we have seen magnets that look like this before, however this is the first one that is a casual version. I purchased one of these immediately. This is a Sailor Moon Luna ramen bowl with chopsticks. Now I know from experience that the chopsticks are kind of cheap. In fact I had purchased a ramen bowl from Hot Topic previously and the chopsticks broke, but the ramen bowls last. They last a very long time and I'm able to use them constantly. The MSRP on this ramen bowl is $18.90 and I really love the kind of starry galaxy design with Luna on the front of it. It's simplistic but at the same time it's stylish and on the back there is a crescent moon and the four inner senshis symbols as well. And lastly we have a tie-dye girls lounge set. This one also lists between extra small up to 3x however 
we will see how quickly those sizes actually are included on the website for inventory. The MSRP is $39.90 and it's a lounge set. It's listed in junior sizes and you would get both a cute little tank top with the four inner sailor senshi as well as a pair of shorts and it looks like the waistband is elastic. But they have pockets. Hot Topic also introduced this brand new Sailor Moon pink icons bucket hat. And oh my goodness, I have to have it. It is so adorable. This is gonna be perfect for the summertime. Cost $19.90. As of time of recording, it is not in stock currently, but we will see that inventory included probably in the next 24 hours or so. Hot Topic also released a pair of socks. This first one are the Floral Wink No-Show socks, which are super adorable and feature Sailor Moon and some florals on the front. Cute pastel coloring. They are one size fits most. They also released a pair of Floral Moon No-Show socks, which feature the Crescent Moon and some florals. So both of those pairs of socks are $4.90 each. Box Lunch has not released anything new recently. I did want to mention though, if you want it, there is an air freshener that they just posted more stock of on their website. This was available also a couple years ago, so I have purchased one before. It's the same exact air freshener for your car. It costs $6.90 and the scent is rose. Now since I have purchased one in the past, I can tell you that it is paper. does not last long. The scent disappears pretty quickly, so I wouldn't necessarily say that it is worth the cost. I am definitely more of a scent portables from Bath & Body Works type of gal. I feel like those last a lot longer. All right, so lastly, and this is on a slightly more serious tone, but I will try to keep it lighthearted. I did post a couple of these Instagram stories on my Sailor Snubs Instagram account, and I wanted to mention them here as well, because a lot of people were tagging me or sending me DMs about this event happening, which by the way, thank you so very much for sending me DMs or sending me links or tagging me whenever you see news coming out so I can include it in these videos. I really appreciate it. But I basically said I'm not comfortable promoting a pop-up cafe that also held a Sailor Moon event last year in the height of the pandemic, which was a huge red flag for me. But I've seen y'all tagging me, letting me know it's happening. I'm just not including it because I don't agree with their practices. I also mentioned I don't really care how you feel about it. I'm just not going to use my own platform for that when so many people have died. I have also lost somebody last year. I lost my grandmother. Uh, so I mentioned I've lost people too. I just don't talk about it here because it's not relevant to Sailor Moon. Uh, so I kind of try to separate that part of my life. And thank you for respecting my values. So I really appreciate the countless individuals who sent me DMs basically in support of saying like, thanks for speaking out. Thanks for saying that. Like, I don't feel weird now. There are a bunch of you and it does kind of validate how I felt to know that so many people in the community pretty much felt the same way that I do. And I had several of y'all who sent me DMs and said you went to the event last year and you were pretty stressed out or had anxiety about it because there was no social distancing. Yes, people were wearing masks, but people were taking them off and they were also selling bootlegs. But I also had like literally one person who sent me a DM and basically attacked me, harassed me over a direct message because I posted these two stories. And I just want to make it clear that just because I don't feel comfortable promoting something on my platform, I in no way am forcing you to not go to a pop-up cafe if you want to go to it. So I don't know why somebody felt the need to attack me over direct message, especially when the entirety of my two Instagram stories was completely about my own platforms and what I'm feeling comfortable about promoting, especially in the fact that I had lost somebody very close to me last year and we didn't even get to have a funeral for her. She just, her life ended and she's not there anymore. The fact that somebody had the audacity to attack me about that really says a lot more about them than it does me. If you have your own platform, your own Instagram account, you can use it for whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But it is absolutely your choice to mute or block or not follow whoever you want if you don't agree with them. I just choose to use my platform 
the way that I feel necessary, especially when something affects the entire world. Had this fan created pop-up shop just happened this year and had they not done anything last year during the height of the pandemic, I would probably feel very different about it and I would probably support them with the exception of the fact that they were selling bootlegs. But that's just not the case, unfortunately, and I just don't feel comfortable supporting them. So just like I ended my Instagram story when I posted that, I will also say that here. Thank you so much for respecting my values and thank you to the much larger majority for the support and for the validation. I do appreciate it. However, I don't need the external validation. I, I do this because I love it, because I love Sailor Moon. And I want all of you to love Sailor Moon as well and never sacrifice your own health or mental well-being in order to have that love in your life. So without further ado, don't forget about that giveaway I am doing here on YouTube as well as Instagram. Thank you so much for listening to today's news video. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. I have another video coming out, I think tomorrow, so tons of videos are happening on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Talk to you later. Johnny.